new around here, my name is Heather, this is my husband Brady, and together with our two beautiful girls, Alexa and Chloe, we are currently renovating this 200-year-old stone house in the foothills of the Italian Alps. A couple years ago, we sold everything we had in the U.S. and set out on an adventure around the world. That adventure has led us here, but today, we have to leave. So I'm definitely bummed about leaving, especially this time of year. All of the colors of the leaves have just popped over the last week. Every tree is turning from orange to red and just looking across the valley and seeing all of these fall colors, it's definitely a bad time to be leaving. So before we leave, I wanted to be able to keep an eye out on the property. So I found these really cool cameras on Amazon. They're completely solar powered and they work off of cellular signal. So since we have no power here, we're working completely off grid and because we obviously have no Wi-Fi, these should work perfectly for us. So we have been having a somewhat large-ish mammal roaming around the property at night based on the droppings I'm finding. And uh, I think what I'm looking forward to most about this guy is uh, being able to capture at night and seeing what in the world is roaming around. <laughs> that is cool. So I'm controlling it and viewing it from my phone. That is so cool. Well, now the only thing left is to say goodbye. Stella. Bye, Stella. Bye, Stella. Stella, we'll miss you. We'll miss you, Stella. Bye. Bye, Stella. Feeling a little rusty this morning? It's been a while since we've done this. We did not save enough time for the long drive to get to the airport, so we do not have enough time to check in. So you would expect us to be a little bit better at this. We did this uh, for a year and a half full time. It's funny how a little bit of time off makes you forget how to do things. Sometimes when you're traveling with kids, it makes it a little more challenging, and sometimes it makes it easier. They just waved us through a really fast line because the girls Both are with for us. Security and for yes, so <laughs> so we wouldn't have probably made our flight otherwise, but now I think we're gonna make it. Are you ready, dear? Oh, we must be sure. There's no turning back once we're out the door. Leave your message here on the telephone. Cause we've no idea when we're coming home. Roundabouts are so confusing <laughs> on the wrong side of the road. It's like we're in Australia all over again. <laughs> I don't like it. It always takes me. It always takes me a couple a minutes or a couple of days road. to get used to it. So we are going to be staying in the Scottish Borders area, and driving out here, I'm so excited. It looks absolutely beautiful. We found the cutest little stone cottage that we're going to be staying in here, and I am so excited. I think it's this little. Dot now. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, this is fine. Maybe this is ours. Wow, this is so cute. Oh, there's sheep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there's sheep like right outside our door. This is so sweet. I love it. <laughs> Look at them. They're so cute. Go slowly. Bye. 
Hi. Hi, little buddy. I like that white one right there. They're cute, aren't they? I like that one. Yeah. Do you want to go look at the house? Yeah. Oh, we have an apple tree. <laughs> we'll pick some apples later, okay? <laughs> so this week we are staying at this amazing little stone cottage here at Dodd Mill, and we are staying in the Scottish Borders area. I am so excited to see how they have renovated this beautiful cottage and there are sheep here. So I am so excited tomorrow to go and see the sheep. So I think there are a few things in life more calming than the uh, sound of running water. We actually used to have a waterfall on our property in Italy. I don't think I've shown it yet, but the river has long dried up. I think the uh, municipality shifted the, uh, the water flow to another river. So unfortunately we no longer have that. So I think the UK kind of constantly gets a bad rap for its weather constantly being overcast and all of the uh, the haze and the fog but I'm actually loving it this morning like walking around it's just a little bit cold beautiful light and man not a bad place to live They're just excited. <laughs> I don't want them following me. Now look, look, look guys, I've got it, okay? It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Good job. <laughs> so here at our Airbnb, we actually can interact with the sheep. So our amazing hosts have said that we can come feed the sheep. So they taught us how, and now we get to do it ourselves. And this is pretty incredible. I really want sheep now. <laughs> hey Chloe, should we get some sheep? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't think they want to be petted. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd be crawling through a uh, sheep enclosure to figure out how they built it so that someday I might build one myself. <laughs> sheep seem to be a very simple livestock to take care of. They seem to be so so easy and they don't make as big of a mess as Stella makes. <laughs> So we have just purchased land in Scotland, which means that according to Scottish customs, we can now officially refer to ourselves as Lord and Ladies. And the sponsor of today's video has a super fun and easy way for you to do the same. So, Established Titles offers title packs as a novelty gift, which offers you one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, along with this official certificate. So aside from the ability to refer to yourself as a lord or lady, this is a super fun and novel way to help preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland, as well as global reforestation efforts. Established Titles plants one tree for every purchase through their partnerships with One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future. So with this title pack, you can actually include the title Lord or Lady on your next airplane ticket, which you know I'm absolutely going to do. I'm also going to cross my fingers for that free upgrade. So this makes for a great last minute gift and Established Titles is running a massive Black Friday discount currently, but you can get an additional 10% off by using our coupon code Raising Voyagers. Plus the first 200 people who purchase a title pack will have their plot of land next to ours. So go to EstablishedTitles.com slash Raising Voyagers to get your gift now and to help support the natural woodlands of Scotland. So I guess we need to explain why we had to leave Italy. Uh, it's because we don't actually have a visa to live in Italy, which um, may sound crazy, but yes, we did buy a house on a tourist visa. Yes, that is allowed. It's super easy to buy a house. It's much harder to get in and be allowed to legally stay in Italy. Yeah, and it's quite complicated actually. So when you're there on a tourist visa, you have 90 out of every 180 days that you can be in the country and actually in all of the Schengen region. So it's not just Italy, it's Germany, Switzerland, a bunch of other places too. 
and that makes it very complicated. So we did a trip a while ago. So some of our old dates conflict with our time right now. So for us to leave for a week, it actually gives us a longer stay in Italy before we need to leave. It's very complicated. It's very confusing, <laughs> um, so much so that a lot of people get it wrong and end up accidentally overstaying their visa. So we're just using an online calculator to yes. make sure that we're not doing that. But um, all we have to leave for is seven, eight, eight days. Mm -hmm. And then it allows us to be in Italy for a much longer period of time, which is very confusing, but that's just the reality of how it goes. But of course we are actively working on getting our visa that will allow us to stay in Italy permanently. That just takes a very long time, is a tremendous amount of paperwork and does take a while to hear back. It is so exciting to be a tourist again. This is so fun. We were really worried about how cold it was gonna be and a bunch of other things. And the weather has just been perfection. It is the fall, so all of the leaves are just so beautiful in those autumn colors. And we are really excited to get into the city today and do a little bit of exploring. Good morning. We're here. feel weird being a tourist again. Yeah, I love it though. I'm so excited to be here. We are in Edinburgh today. We're gonna just walk around the city and see what we can find. It's been a long time since we've done this and we don't have much of a plan today, but I'm really excited to just see this city. You like stairs? So of course, right where we parked is probably the most touristy thing to do in Edinburgh, the Edinburgh Castle, but 18 pounds per person. I'm too cheap for that nonsense. <laughs> oh my goodness, it feels just like Harry Potter. There's an owl. Oh my goodness. I mean, we are in the UK. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, I want my birthday. What do you want for your birthday? A pet owl. A pet owl. <laughs> I really want to hold it. And I can feel me a pocket money. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Do it. I want to hold that owl. <laughs> Chloe, you cannot move. Okay, you have to be very sturdy. He's going to go on your left hand. Okay. Stick your hand and be very strong. Just on like a glove. And don't move. Be very still. Yeah, I think there's any holes if you can. And I'll hold them down if you can. Is that okay? And then you can stroke him just down the way. Yep, have any questions? So he got taken away straight away uh, as a breeder knew that he was going to be in danger if he left him with the mother. At least so if possible. If not possible, they will just stay at our centre. So he's one that would just stay at the centre. Yeah. So as we're shopping, the girls are a bit confused by the pricing here as everything is in pounds and all of it is just weighs more than Chloe, we say. <laughs> Uh, can I have the haddock and chips, uh, veggie haggis, and then uh, just another plate of chips? Would you like any homemade tartar sauce? Uh, yes, please. 32 50 please. All right. Great. Here you go, Thank you. So we are in Scotland, so of course we have to try the haggis. It's the most famous dish here in Scotland. Mm, I had the veggie ones. <laughs> hey. I don't really like meat very much. Me either. So they did have a veggie option. Yes. So that's what me and Alexa are going to try the veggie option. Okay. Chloe's eating chips over there and Brady has... <laughs> and Brady has the fish actual real... Oh, you got fish and chips? Fish and chips. Okay, he got fish and chips. So no real haggis here, but fish and chips. <laughs> Daddy had um, real haggis a few days ago when we first got here. Are you sure, you're sure it's veggie? <laughs> Brady ordered for me, so I'm a little nervous that uh, this is actually veggie. No, I, I was with him. Okay, okay, Alexa he said was there. Veggie. Okay. Yep, it's veggie. Mm. Is it good? Mm hmm. Veggie? <laughs> Yum. That's delicious. The sauce is apparently traditional. I'm not a huge fan of the sauce, but just plain. Wow, this is so good. Don't listen to it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Like what are you doing, Chloe? Are you stuffing your pockets full of french fries? 
You got another pocket over here. Chloe eats a bit slow, so she has to take it with her to go. <laughs> Let's go. Remember when we went to the Lion King and she said, I'm the Lion King and I brought lettuce. <laughs> it's just like that, <laughs> except funnier. <laughs> This somehow looks familiar to me. So J.K. Rowling wrote all of the Harry Potter books yeah. here in Edinburgh. Yeah. <laughs> the author of the She's Harry the Potter that books. Wrote the books. Oh, but I don't read them. <laughs> <laughs> but you know how you want to be a, an author and write books. So someone wrote the Harry Potter stories, and she wrote them here in this city. Pretty cool, huh? So is this like a Harry Potter city? So this is Victoria Street, and this is where Diagon Alley is based off of from Harry Potter. That's cool. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Pretty cool. Alexa. What? What is this place? It's a Harry Potter store. Let's go in. Come <laughs> 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 The sorting hat. <laughs> So welcome to a very cold and rainy Scotland this morning, but that's okay. We're basically working all week. Heather is right now working with the kids on school and editing our next video. And I've been working on our travel hacking course all week, which if you're new to our channel, you might not realize that we spent the last couple of years traveling full time as a family. And I think it surprises people to learn that we were able to do this, travel all over the world and have all these experiences for less than the cost that we used to spend living in Ohio. So I've been working for months now, going through all of my notes, packaging up all of this information into a simple to digest course for you guys, including how we're able to book airplane tickets for as low as $9, or literally how you can book a first class suite on an airplane around the world, which should cost eight to 10,000, but you can get it for as low as $95, which still blows my mind that that's possible. But I think my favorite story is the example of how we are able to book a private boat for just our family hopping around multiple islands, including a private chef, and the total cost was $30. So I know this sounds a little crazy, but this has been our life for years now, and I want to package this up and share it with you guys. It's almost finished. It's taken me so much longer than expected. I know that a lot of you have signed up for early access months ago, and I'm sorry it's taken me so long to finally finish this, but I think we're days away to having this finished. So if you wanna jump onto that early access email list, there is a link in the description where you can do so. So I realize this is gonna make me sound like the complete nerd that I am, but I'm fascinated by the Scottish design for how they build their stone walls. It of course is a very similar uh, process and technique as the Italian walls are built, but in just a very unique way. For one, the stones are more tumbled, and then I love the angled effect on both sides of the walls. And then they take the very irregular shaped larger stones and they use that as the capstone and the weight that holds the whole wall together. But one thing the Scottish design does better than the Italian design is that they stack it so neatly and perfectly together. There are almost no gaps between these stones and of course no mortar used. But just like on our terraces, they also build in the stone steps that protrude out of the wall, giving you that stepping stone to climb up over top of the wall. Thank you so much for watching. Next week, we'll be back in Italy on our property, resuming our normal videos. And if you wanna know more about that travel hacking course, please use the link in the description below. Leave us your email so you can be notified when that becomes available, and we'll see you next week.